Okay, there we are. We are live. Hello, everybody. My name is Terry Sproul, and I want to welcome you to my studio. I'm excited to show off tonight. Tonight's all show and tell of what I've seen at the CHA Summer Show. And I've got a ton of stuff to show you. So I'm kind of excited. Um, I'm just going to chit-chat here for a little while while we let everybody else start coming in. Uh, what's going on? Um, this is not going to be anything about CJ. Going to be doing um, on August 24th. I will get you the time for sure. I believe it's 9 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. No, Eastern Standard Time. Okay. A.M. Hello, oh, oh, everybody. Oh, oh. My Hold name on. is Terry I put my Brown. I want to welcome to my studio. I always forget to do that. There we go. <laughs> so um, we are going to be doing a show. I'll be doing a Saturday AM, great, 9 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard, or is that Pacific Standard Time or Eastern Standard Time, Peg, if you can tell me that for sure. Um, I am going to be doing a show with Peg Rounds, and we are going to be doing a show with the, um, thank you, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 24th. We're going to be doing a show using the um, Mailbox Muse kits. So definitely check them out if you're not a member of that yet. Um, the other thing I would suggest, and I'm going to repeat this again, is to grab yourself a pencil and a piece of paper because I am going to be throwing a lot of information at you tonight with a lot of links. And as you know, YouTube will not allow us to put links up. <laughs> so. I would suggest that you write them down. Um, I will try to do my best to put a lot of them on the website, but there really are a lot. So if there is particular things that you want to see or you know go check out a little further um, as far as what I show you tonight, write down those links for yourself. And I'm going to do my best to shout them out. Uh, so that's what's going on there. What else? Um, God, I got so much to show you. We're got almost 10 viewers in here right now so I'll give it just a few more minutes and then we will talk a little more so far it looks like the comments are working <laughs> since we had such bad luck last week um, I do have Peg here helping so if you do have a question and I miss it put it in caps Peg will do her best to um, catch it and I'll do my best to catch it too um, but hopefully there'll be no problems with it um, what else? Um, oh, hi, Pam. Pam, I see in the room. Uh, what else? Okay, I'm just going to give it just a, another minute or two, and we will start showing off CHA stuff. So it's exciting. Um, hmm. My um, trip to Ve Vegas was not too adventurous. Um, leaving my mountain, this was kind of funny. Leaving my mountain, I left here at 6 a.m. So I left really early because I wanted to get over to the mountain or to Vegas early. And halfway down my mountain, there was a goat sitting out in the middle of the street. Honest to God, goat. We don't have goats on the mountain. They had to be somebody's pet. He was really, really friendly and wanted to, you know, like was following me down the mountain. So I had to pull over. I had to call the fire department to come get him. So I saved the goat <laughs> on my way out. So that was my good deed for the way to Vegas. Um, it wasn't too hot in Vegas. I stayed with Joe. We were staying in the Las Vegas um, Hotel. It's actually the old Hilton. That's where um, Elvis stayed. So maybe I stayed in his room. Doubt it, but, you know, <laughs> I can dream. Uh, what else? Um, the convention was literally right out the door, so it was convenient for us. We literally just walked from... Um, our room right over to CHA, which was really nice. The show was only three days. It was very small, um, but it was very intimate. So I actually got to spend a lot of time with a lot of people, a lot of designers. I became a CHA designer while I was there. I got to talk personally with the president of CHA, which was very nice. I had literally 15 minutes of his time personally. It was nice. I was shocked. Um, what else? So that was basically the basics of it, and I know you guys are all here to see my junk, so <laughs> let's start showing you all that stuff. We've got quite a few people in here. Anyways, so let me switch cameras, 
And uh, if you, again, if you have any questions, please put them up in caps. I'm going to do my best to see them. And if you guys could at least say hi over there so I know who's here, I could say hi back to you. I'm switching cameras to show you good stuff. All the good stuff. Okay. Also, uh, um, and I want to remind everybody who is new to me that I also do a class on Tuesday nights, so join me on that too. Okay, first thing I want to show you. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring up my my Zoom camera. Hmm. So hold on here. Let me get my Zoom up real quick. Apologize. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, there we go. Much better. Now I can do it. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to do that. So, okay. First thing I want to show you is I got the new Steampunk issue. And this is, hi, Sean. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sh Cheryl. Hi, Pam. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Robin. Oh, my God, you guys are all popping in now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all these people coming in. Hi. Oh, cool. Well, thank you, Sean. I'm very excited, too. Okay. Um, just Steampunk just came in. If you want to order a copy, you can order your copy over at Create and Craft, which is Joe's website. And um, you can get a copy. If you would like me or Joe to sign a copy for you, you can order it with Joe's signature, and then you would have to send it to me with a self self address stamped envelope. I have eight projects in here. I am not going to show you it all because it would take a while. But I'll just quickly go through and just quickly show you some awesome projects. Um, I'll show you off my project and um, Joe's. Oh, here's one of mine. That right there is me. And that is my belt up there, my steampunk belt. Isn't that cool? So, um, but yeah, there's some awesome projects in here. So if you'd like to get a hold of this magazine, definitely check it out over. Oh, that's one of my projects too right there. Right there, that's me too. Um, so definitely you can order it over at um, Create and Craft at Joe's website. And... You can have it too. So, anyways, this is just quickly going through it. Oh, that's more. This whole page is me. Whole page is me. My clock, my wall hanging, my face. This is using um um, um, um uh, oh God. Uh, the stamps are from um, Sin City Stamps, and this is a um, product from Crafters Attitude. Love it. So, anyways, that is that. Oh, there's me too. Whole page. Got a full page myself. I'm so excited. So anyways, get yourself a copy of the Just Steampunk. He also has, it went blurry on me. There we go. He also has um, issue two and issue one over there. I'm also in both of those. Okay. First off, I am going to show you some paper, and this is from a Splash of Color. It's their new um, vintage Christmas line, and it. most of you might not know the name Splash of Color. You might remember them as um, Creative Imaginations. So Creative Imaginations changed their name, and this is their new paper line. So this is their vintage Christmas isn't that cute? So I'm going to quickly go through these because I'm not going to... We'll be here all night if I literally show you every piece of paper. And these are all double-sided, just for FYI. And this one's really pretty. I like that one. I like that one. This one's a little, you know, totally different look. It's kind of their birthday line. This is kind of a fun teenage -y type line. Okay, so that is from Splash of Color, which is also um, uh, Creative Imaginations is what you might remember them from. They also have this really cool um, 
Indian gold metallic rub and they have these you can actually find this at Michaels they have a whole bunch of different colors on it it's kind of like rub and buff but it's actually a little better um, you can find this at Michaels because I did look while I was there the other day and it's, it's kind of the same consistency as rub and buff it's the best way I can explain it as you can see it's kind of a uh, paste so this is really fun. I will definitely be using this on my show in the future. So that is from um, Splash of Color or also known as uh, uh, Creative Imaginations. This is Die Cuts with a View. I love Die Cuts with a View and I love Halloween. So this is a win-win packet. This is one of these, um, you know, where they have like 48 sheets of uh, different color or different pieces of paper in it and then so I got this and again I'm gonna quickly flip through this it's not open sorry about that oh open there we go okay so again we'll quickly flip through this and as you know all of their books have two sheets for everything. They have all these great, you know, full, and they're um, embossed and glittered, and they also have that, um, what do they call this, that shiny coat stuff on it. So these are all really, really nice. When will you use scrapbook paper, Jerry? <laughs> you know, I, I, I scrapbook every once in a while. I swear I do. Not much, I admit it. I need to scrapbook more, but I don't. <laughs> as much as I should but anyways so that is the Halloween line this one I really think is pretty and actually I was thinking about using this in a uh, page in my uh, journal very soon so it's funny that you happen to ask that I thought this would be really pretty in the journal this is their, uh, they call it Royal Garden, and it's got a lot of really pretty, really pretty paper. It's got a lot of foil paper in this one. These are all foils. Love that. Isn't that one pretty? Look at that. So yes, there is all of that. This is just such a pretty line. Look at that one. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh. So again, that's Die Cuts with the View, and that's their new garden line. Next uh, paper I got, again, is Die Cuts with the View, and it's called Dear Jane. And it's kind of a, it's a really pretty line, too. Should have opened these prior to you guys getting here. See how good I was? I didn't put anything away because I didn't want for you guys to miss anything. So this is our Dear Jane. And this has got some fun pieces of paper I could definitely see me using in uh, journals. Like I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. That would be fun to do a transfer. Yeah, I agree, Debbie. I really like the royal. And these are all foiled again. These all have foil on them. So they're really, really pretty. Love that one. That could be a really pretty just frame for something. You know what I mean? For an event you were having. Wouldn't have to do anything. Just right in the center. I might have to use that. 
good idea. I have an event I need to do something for now <clears throat> in the next couple weeks. Look at that one. I love that one. Love, love, love that one. Okay. This one's really pretty, too. I like this one, too. <clears throat> okay. Okay, what else? Here is something that I made and will be available to you guys in a kit here probably by the end of September. And I will actually do a class via the internet on how to make this little book. This is the brand new line from um, Graphic 45, and it's called their Steampunk Spells line. And this is a very interactive book with uh, lots of tags coming out everywhere. It's only a six-page book, but it's very interactive, as you see, and really simple to make. Very cool technique that you could use over and over and over. So I will definitely be teaching this, and you'll be able to purchase the whole kit for yourself um, probably by the end of September. We will keep you informed. Don't worry. If you watch my shows on Tuesday, I will be definitely showing you when this is available. Okay? So I hope you like that because this is going to be a lot of fun. Let me stick this over to this side. Okay. What else? <laughs> this is actually funny. I got I got to tell you the story about this one. You know you're a crafter when you find something like this laying on the ground and you have to take it home. <laughs> you truly know you're a crafter. So, me and Joe were heading out to the car for some reason. I can't even remember what. And uh <laughs> this was laying on the ground and I had to pick it up because I think this would be so cool on the jelly plate. Can you imagine this would be my grid on the jelly plate? I, I, I'm sorry, but I was like, so excited about this. Hi, Lenine. Lenine was actually one of the wonderful people that I got to spend some time with while I was at CHA. I was very excited, too. And um, she, uh, she, we had dinner together one night at um, uh, 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 Benny Hanna's, which was very nice. Um, Except for, honestly, uh, I don't know about you, Lenine, but I end up getting very sick, <laughs> unfortunately, at that, that night. So the food did not agree with me, but I had a very good time at the show. Okay, now this is one I want you guys, remember I was telling you I want you to write stuff down for me? This is one I want you to write down. Connie Crystals. I want you guys to go to Connie Crystals on Facebook, and I want you to tell them that I sent you. And I want to show you everything they let me come home with. Look at this pile of fun, good stuff. I'm not much of a jeweler, but I could definitely see me playing with this to do other things with. Um, so they have some just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Look at that. And these are their brand new sun catchers. Aren't those gorgeous? So again, this is Connie Crystals, C-O-N-N-I-E Crystals, and you can find them over on Facebook. Look, these crystals are so sparkly and so pretty. Look how pretty all this stuff, and this is kind of like a, it's not a really shiny, see how it's kind of um, a smoky glass? Isn't that pretty? I can see me doing this. Look at, look at, look at this one. Look at the sparkle on that. Do you guys see the sparkle on that? I hope that's coming through because that is just incredible how much that sparkles. So this is going to be a lot of fun to play with here in the near future. I just love it. And I got another one here. This is their blue. Look at the sparkle there. Wow. It's really showing up really well here on the, on the camera on my end. I hope it is on your end too. Uh, Here's, oh, look how pretty this is. Actually, let me see if I can bring it in closer because I want to get you under the light. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
So definitely do me a favor and go over to Connie Crystals on Facebook and tell them you seen all their fun stuff from me. I love how smoky this is. So anyways, that is what I brought home from Connie Crystals. Uh, they had some, their booth, they had the most beautiful booth. They had these amazing, what, the dress for starters, they had this amazing dress that was absolutely to die for. Um, they had this boot. It was seriously a boot that was totally covered in crystals. It was so, so pretty. Okay, next out of my little pile of fun stuff is Fiber Castell. We all know how much I love Fiber Castell. One of my absolute favorite people in the world. Right here, I love Fiber Castell. So I did two things. One, I did a make and take, and I did rip off something that was on here. But this is a really cute little box, and the make and take was at their booth, and we just basically covered it with gelatos and stamps and just had fun with all their fun stuff at their booth. So it was almost like sitting down and just playing. <laughs> so I made this, but I went to their class, and in their class, I got all of these supplies. And since I own all of them except for this one, I'm going to be giving these three away if you watch my journaling classes on Tuesday nights. So these are some prizes that I have giving away. Matter of fact, this week, this is what the pack that I'm giving away. So you're getting four gelatos, a paintbrush, and a stamp all in one package. So these are really awesome to um, play with. And then these are their colored pencils. And then I can't live without this pencil pen right here. This is their um, big brush pen. And what's nice about all of their markers are they are Indian ink. And Indian ink, once it dries, they are um, permanent. Once, when it's wet, you can actually smear it, which is kind of fun. And you can use this to, um, to do all of your stamps. So you can actually put it on your stamps and... Um, and uh, stamp it. Debbie, was that showing up at, at my end really well? Thanks for the new... Oh, okay, never mind. Um, Debbie wrote in caps, and I thought she was asking a question. So anyways, this is the stuff that I will... I'll be giving these away, and I'm probably going to give everything in this kit away except for these. These two right here, I want those. So selfishly, I'm keeping those. But there's a gelato in here that I already own. I already own this, and I already own that. So I'm probably going to give all that away, too. Okay. Let me show you what I did when I took the class. This is what we did in our class. And this is done with gelatos. And, yeah, I actually want to try their, I actually have their new crayons, and I really like their new crayons, so I'm very excited. But this is what we did in the class, and I really, really enjoyed doing this. And if this is something that you would like to learn how to do, what I am doing is on the class that I'm going to be doing with Peg on the 24th of August, is I am going to be using the Serengeti kit, which is the Mailbox Muse kit, the Serengeti kit. I'm going to be doing this project and teaching you how to do that. So if you would like to learn how to do something like that, I'm going to be doing it on the 24th. So check out that kit. Again, that's mailboxmuse.com. And uh, definitely check, you know, um, join me on that day. Okay, what else? Oh, this um, is from, these are from Clear Snaps. Thank you, Peggy. And these are called Spritz. And they're from Colorbox, which is also Clear Snaps. And they're basically um, dye inks and they're in a spray bottle. I wanted to, I grabbed these because I wanted to see if I could do the exact same thing that you can do with delusions with these, but you can't. <laughs> 
what I'm discovering, because I've I, I'm, I'm been trying the technique that you can do with delusions on a lot of other products, and you can't do, any, do it with anything but delusions. Delusions are from Ranger, by the way. Um, these are a permanent dye ink. The color is very intense, very beautiful, um, absolutely incredible product. So I would definitely highly recommend these. Okay, what else is in my little... Oh, Xyron. Xyron. I thought I had something else in here to show you. Well, anyways, Xyron. I don't know about you, but I love my X. Xyron has come out with a brand new X that is five inches wide. Most of you know the one that is out now is only three inches wide, so we got a brand new wider one coming out. I did not get that. Um, this was just a sample that they gave us, a little tiny little X. If you don't know what a Xyron machine is, oh my god, these things are rock. Basically, anything that you can fit into the, um, the X, you pull out the other side, it makes it into a sticker. So it makes anything into a sticker. So now they came out with a wider one so you can put wider stuff into it. So they came out with a four inch one. So I was excited to see that. Uh, this was a kind of fun thing to find. Let me show you this. This is a brand new product out from This is a brand new product out from um uh I thought this was deco art. Americana. It's the uh, paint company, you know, that makes paint. They came out with type of, a couple different things. One, they came out with a stain. It's a multi-surface paint stain. And so this is one of their new products that they just came out with. And they also, so I got it in three colors, the primary colors. We talked about that on my show the other day. And then the other new thing they came out with, which is kind of really fun, is they came out with chalkboard paint. And what's really cool about this chalkboard paint, this is the regular, normal, black chalkboard paint. But they also came out with a clear chalkboard paint. Now check this out, guys. <laughs> this is going to blow your mind. You can take and paint anything, any color you want with any type of paint, right? Then you go over it with this clear chalkboard paint, and it's now a chalkboard paint. Is that just cool or what? So I think this is a really fun idea. So that was something new out by Americana, the paint company. See that there, Americana, the paint company. Okay. Um, Tom Tombo has these brand new micro erasers. Oh, there's nothing in there. How funny is that? Anyways, let's see if I can find it. I thought they gave me two. Okay, I don't see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. They have these brand new micro erasers. And they're these little itty bitty erasers. And what I seen somebody do that completely blew my mind was she did Zentangle backwards. Meaning instead of drawing the lines, she made she took and put um, graphite onto a piece of paper and then went in with the um, eraser. See how little this eraser is? and erased lines and made Zentangle. So she did it backwards. Is that just mind-blowing or what? So anyways, that is the brand new uh, micro eraser that they have from Tombow. I think that's very cool. Okay. Um... You should see this big pile I have over here on the side. I'm trying to keep organized. Okay. Found this new company that has these really cool dies, and I love that one. 
And I got the, um, let me find the catalog. As we go around through, I'll, I'll find the catalog. Oh, here. See, I knew I had more Xyron. Here's their big sticker now. See how big it is now? So that's their big 5-inch. See, I knew I, had, I knew I had it in there. So that's the big 5-inch. I talked to you guys the other day. I found this new paint company, and they actually are from San Diego, which was kind of fun. And they have um, NOA-approved acrylic paints that are good for kids, and they only do the primary colors. So I got all of those, plus the black and white, and I talked to you guys about that and color theory. Well, they also make this other cool product, and they're called, called Color Blocks. And basically what these are, are melted crayons. So now they're a crayon and you can actually rub them onto wood and get color onto it. So they're really kind of fun. So these are all the colors that they come in. And that's what they have. That's one of their new products too. And the company name is, uh, it's www.color, C-L-O, C O L O U R blocks B L O C K S dot com. Does that show backwards to you guys or am I just seeing it backwards? I think it's okay for you guys. So that's the name of the company. So it's colorblocks.com. And that's where you can get these uh, really cool crayons. Spellbinders. They came out with basically embossing um, plates, embossing dies. They're more of a die that, that matches their other dies. So as you cut something, you're also going to emboss something. So can you kind of see that? So that's what um, Spellbinders came out with. So that's their new product. Okay, the same company that has this die has these really fun stickers. I love outline stickers because I'll, I'm sorry about the glare here. Let's see if I can get that off a little bit. The packaging, I use that's why I take everything out of packaging. Um, but these, what's fun about outline stickers is you can color in them with like crystal lacquer or um, any type of coloring that you have would work. And these are really fun. So these are a couple of the designs that I picked up. I love the butterflies. Sorry about the glare. This is why I take everything out of packaging. Okay, let's go on. Uh, this is just a, I have a bunch of advertising. So there's a spellbinder showing that they have the embossing dies with the embossing. So that's it. There's a couple of designs on the back that they have available now. Okay, and on we go. Okay, I'm excited about this package. This package is full of uh, Crafters Warehouse stencils. <laughs> I love stencils, as most of you know. Let me get a piece of paper to put behind these. So there is one of the stencils, and that one cool. That's one of my favorites. I can't wait to use that one. And these are all the Crafters Warehouse. And it's the crafterswarehouse.com. There's another one. Another one. Another one. I actually got two of these, so this would be one that I'll be giving away. This is kind of that fun two-part one where you have, remember I used this in the um, one of the classes for the um, journaling where I used um, ink pad and I did these. I actually had a city, um, cityscape and then I went over this with the molding putty to give it some dimension. So this is a real fun one. So I have two of these, so I'll be giving one of those away. There's the second one. 
Love that one. Love that one. This one's kind of fun, too. Actually, let me open this one because you don't see it all. Isn't that cool? Um, and then leaves. And then I did get one of their alphabet stencils. And let me go quickly, quickly through their catalog, show you some of the uh, other designs that I did not get. So these are all brand new. So everything that I'm showing you here are brand new. I, oh, sorry about that, guys. Love that one. So everything on here is brand new. These are their new um, masks. And then these are their new, um, these are kind of like masks too, but they have words on them. So that is it from them as far as what was new. Okay, this is kind of a fun invention. Oh my god. This is called Fix and Zip. And what it is, is it's this zipper contraction that will fix any broken zipper instantly. And she did it like so cool. So these worked, these, this is a really cool thing. Now it comes in three different sizes. So you, this is for like one that's for jeans and like a jacket and all kinds of stuff. So this this is a kind of a basic one. They have one for a smaller one for like your purse. And then they have big ones that would be for your, um, say, your um, sleeping bag or your um, tent or stuff like that. So this is a really cool thing. And the name of this one is it's called Zip Fix and Zip. And the website, I'll repeat this twice in case you want to write it down, is www.fixandzip.com. Fixandzip.com. So it's F I X N Z I P.com. So zip, fix, and zip.com. So this is a really fun, cool idea. And they're actually very inexpensive, and you can even take them off. Say you grow out of those pair of jeans or whatever, you can take that off and use it again. So it's not on there permanently. So really kind of fun, cool idea. Great invention there. Okay. No, I have some more fun stuff in here. <laughs> Where is oh oh this is oh oh let me show you these let me show you these this is going to be fun these are actually some really cool stickers that altered pages will be carrying soon I mean they're no I ref, I refrain they are not stickers they are graphics on a piece of paper that you can cut out and use. And she has a lot of them. This is just a small little grab that I happened to grab from her. Um, they come in different shapes um, and different sizes, as you see, and different images. I tend to go towards steampunk and vintage and butterflies, so this is the ones that I picked out for myself. And I don't know why, but I really like this one. <laughs> So this one was very cool. I like this one a lot too. So you'll be able to get all of these very soon at alteredpages.com. 
Again, that is alteredpages.com. If you become a member of the Muse uh, Mailbox Muse, you will get a discount over at the um, Altered Pages. So there's a really good reason to um, do that. Now, Ranger. Um, Ranger is really hard to get away with any of their stuff, so you kind of have to come home with catalogs. <laughs> I've got a little bit here, and I'll show you what I do have. These are some new um, stamps from the um, what is it, Dilations group. So these are the, this is a stamp, and then these are her art journal pages. I did order all of the, um, I ordered some of these stamps, and I ordered all of these sprays. So I will be using them on my sh show on Tuesdays. And I know Altered Pages has ordered all of this. So you'll be able to order it on Altered Pages really soon. So these are all just stamps. And they're very um, art journal-y, very cutesy-cutesy. And so that was really fun. The one thing that I do say that I absolutely went nuts over over at Ranger was they have a brand new art journal that is awesome. I do have that ordered. I cannot wait to get it. Um, it doesn't bleed through. It lays flat. It's I really there's lots of it I like about it. I will show it to you as soon as I can. But it's over at Ranger, so if you go to rangerinc.com, you can see the art journal that they have over there now. And I would highly recommend it. So it's really, really, really a nice art journal. Okay, while we're on Ranger, let me show you Mr. Tim Holtz's new stamps. Actually, technically these are not, they're kind of Tim Holtz's and they're kind of not. And what do I mean by that? They do have Tim Holtz's collection name on them. They are coming out from Tim Holtz. But um, Mario, which is Tim Holtz's partner, has a son named Mario who is now a designer for Tim Holtz. So these are actually his stamps and not Tim Holtz stamps. So they kind of are Tim Holtz stamps and they kind of aren't. So that's what I mean by that. Um, they were given this set away. I actually got Tim's at, um, signature and I got the um, Mario's signature. So these are the brand new stamps out from, I'm trying to get it without it glaring, from Tim Holtz Christmas stamps. And they are the, you know, the rubber stamps. So there you go on that. So there's another Tim stuff. Let me see what else I have from Tim. I do have a catalog from Mr. Tim, and these are his new Sizzix dies. So these are all brand new dies right there. He's also got the new pair of wings out. Really love those. Um, Trying to remember what is new. I think those butterflies are new. That's a border stamp. Oh, excuse me, a border die. And these are all out from Sizzix. Hmm. Uh, oh, the lantern is very. Some of these though were extremely expensive. I was looking at the lantern, and that's going to be like a forty dollar die right there. And then there's the, um, so there's, these are all brand new right here. There's some new Halloween stuff. There's some, down here, there's some embossing folders. Um, he's got a new thing out that it's a stamp and embossing combination so you can stamp and emboss all at the same time there's some new Christmas ones you know guys we're probably gonna be here a few more minutes than uh, an hour oh blurry come on focus focus
It's not wanting to focus there. Come on, camera, focus. Uh, let's see. Um, that's about it that's in here. Everything else is... Um, here's where it shows that you can die cut and stamp at the same time. So you stamp. I'm sorry, that's a little out of focus. I apologize. I don't. It's not wanting to focus on me. But you stamp, stamp, and then die cut. See how you die cut. So that's his new um, set of ideas that he has out. Um, So again, I don't want to spend uh, too much more time on that because I do want to show you other things. Okay, this is a fun one, and I have a coupon for you guys on this one. This is a cool idea. Check this out. If you want to purchase one of these, I have a coupon for you. Uh, and it's 20% off of this. What this is, is it's a ring that either in the center you can either have a um, whiteboard or a mirror so it, you can flip it and you can go on to the internet they actually have a website and when you go on to the website you can change this the ring around this um, around the mirror see right there see the ring you can change that to anything you want so you can actually go on to their website and upload your own photos and put your own photos into it. I, I thought that was really cool. I think if I had a kid, this would be a fun thing for... Um, I'm actually going to put it on my fridge. I can't wait to put it on my fridge, actually. Um, but I... So you would put your own pictures around the edge here, and you can go directly onto the website, and on the web... It goes... The website is trim. T R I M A R I M dot com. And it can help you get uh, started on having your own photos in there. So you got a mirror on one side, and the other side you flip the mirror over, and it's a dry erase board. It comes with a pen, and it comes with some magnets. So you can, if you use the dry erase board, the dry erase board is actually a magnet also. So, and it's really super easy to pull apart and all that stuff. It's got a little hanger on the back, see that? And so you can pull this out super easy and change it and do whatever you want. So let me give you the coupon. So everybody ready for the coupon on this one? It is launch L A U. N C H twenty save S A V E. It is only good until August thirty first. So you get twenty percent off, and the the website is T R I M A R I M dot com, and you get twenty percent off. Let me repeat that again for you. The website is W W W T as in Terry R as in Ring I as in N N M as in Mary A as in Apple R as in Ring I as in Imagination M as in Mary dot com. Your uh, coupon code is Launch L A U N C H. 20SAVE. And again, that is good for 20% off of this product for the till the end of August. So you can see some really cute ideas there. There's one done, and she's actually working on the website. It's super, super easy. She showed me really quickly how to do it. You can go in and change anything you want. So you can put pictures around it. They have all kinds of preloaded graphics on it. So it's really, really super easy to, to use. So definitely go check that out. I hope somebody buys one because I think they're really fun. It actually comes with a few rings in it, pre-made for you. So you can actually use one that's already in here, or you can purchase, or uh, not purchase, excuse me, they're all free, or make your own. See, it comes with all of these. 
Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. Okay. This is a fun idea right here. Check this one out. This is from uh, Purple Cow. Purple Cow has come out with a whole new line of die cuts and punches. So they have die cuts and punches that match each other. And these are those great border punches. They, they're super, super easy to use. Um, you can line up. They have all the, the drawings, so you just line it straight up. They're so easy to use. Um, they have a... These two actually match. See how they're the opposite? They're the same design, but they're the opposite. They're really cool. And then this die matches these punches. So this whole thing coordinates as one unit if that's what you want to do. So this was a really cool thing, and this is from Purple Cows, and it's purplecows.com. So they have dies and punches that match, and she actually made this right in front of me. I thought it was just absolutely beautiful. So she made this beautiful doily using just this die. So that was really cool. So that was that. Um, uh, this is uh, there wasn't a lot of fabric companies there, but this was one that was kind of fun. Um, this is that uh, semen strip, and now I'm not a big fabric person, but this you can put stuff in between it and um, heat it up and make all, make your own fabric, which would be a lot of fun. Hot off the press has some fun new. Um, stickers and stuff like that out. There's a new paper line right there. And this is all hot off the press. That's the new paper line from hot off the press. We're almost getting to the end here. This is fun. Oh my god. Wait till I show you this. Oh. This I'm actually going to have a coupon for you guys in the future. I do not sew. I admit it. I just I'm not a sewer. It's not my forte. I just don't do it. But this is a quilt without sewing. So what you do is you have to have your own fabric. But what you do is you have... Let me open it and show you. You have this really cool little form inside. See that? So it's all done for you. So you take your fabric and you just push it down into these grooves and it makes your quilt and then you would hang this because it's got a hanger on it on a wall super super easy very cool idea I can't wait to play with it I will be showing you guys this in a future class it's got all of the patterns right here real super easy to do they have some really cool steampunk ones. I can't wait to get my hands on them and play with them. But they're really, really super easy to do. You're basically, if you are not a person who does quilts, this is quilts made easy. <laughs> I just think it's awesome. So that was a new product that I think is really fun. And look for this in the future on my class with a coupon. Okay, we're getting close to the end here, guys. We really are. Um, what else do I have in my little box here? Um, some of these are just catalogs. Uh, deco art catalog with all their paints. They weren't there. They didn't have a booth there, but I got to meet them in person and um, talk with one of their uh, design team members. And so I had a really, really nice talk with her. Uh, hmm. Sizzix new dies. Most of them um, are I'm more of a fan of Tim's stuff, so I did get all of the new. They do have, okay, I have to show you this. This is their new, isn't it cute? There's their new little die cut machine. So it's a purse. <laughs> isn't that cute? 
So the and so this whole book is again I can't go through it all, but all of their new dies are some really pretty Christmas dies in here. So these are all from Sizzix and not necessarily just Tim Holtz's stuff. This is all their stuff. But their new die cut machines are really cute. I like that one. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's see if there's anything I don't want to miss. I want to make sure this box is completely empty. Oh, let me show you this. Remember, I was showing you earlier about the uh, lady who did the uh, drawings, but did it backwards. Did the Zentangle backwards? You can kind of see it right there. That's the Zentangle done backwards. Isn't that a mind blower? Thought that was just too cool. Um, last thing I have in my little box. Really, that's it. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that isn't it. Now, I plan on getting more of this, but this is all I got while I was there. If I would have known it was Carol, I would have probably came home with more. But I want to show, show you guys this one. This is a brand new company. This was their very first show, and it's called Little B. It's L I T T L E B L L C dot com. And it's a brand new company. And one of the things that they had that I was very excited about was their very cool, they call it decorative tapes, but it's basically washi tapes. They have some really cool ones. So if you get a chance, go on to their website. Again, it is Little. BLLC.com and they have other things besides washi tape. The lady who just opened this company used to work for EK Success, so there was a lot of stuff that kind of reminded me of Jolie's um, stuff. So she has a lot of very dimensional stuff. She has a lot of really cool washi tapes, um, and they actually has a little dispenser here. It's kind of fun. I really like a lot of her washi tapes. Um, I probably will be getting more of their stuff to play with and hopefully coupons and other stuff in the future. But check them out. I think they're going to be a real hit. That, that was one of the new people that I thought was a real hit. I see a couple of you are having a little bit problems with your browser. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully they won't stop too much longer. A couple little pictures. I don't know if you guys have seen. Remember these Instamatic cameras? I guess they have new ones out, and they take these little itty bitty pictures. So Santa was there, so I had a picture taken with Santa, and that was over at the Doodlebug booth. It was fun. So that's really it, guys. That's everything I brought home from with my little adventure. So let me change my camera here. And I actually did do that in an hour. Yay, we did that in an hour. Oh, sorry. I always got to move this. Sorry, I got to move that one when I switch cameras. So that was exciting. Um, I had a good time. I um, don't know what else to say. I really had a good time. It was a little exhausting. As most of you know, I have fibromyalgia, so I do come home absolutely exhausted. I got to have time with a lot of great people. I got to spend time with Lenine, who I believe is here. Love spending time with her. Spend time with Jean Moore over at Altered Pages and her daughter. I got to spend lots of time with Joe since I was sharing a room with him. Um, I mean, you name it, I got to spend time with them. It was really fun, very intimate, and really had a good time. I hope nobody else has any other questions. I hope you join me on tomorrow night, Tuesday night, as we continue in our art journal. And um, that's about it. I don't know what else to say, but thank you very much for joining me. I thank you for being patient with me and not, I really wanted to show you this last week, but I left my stuff there. <sighs> so mad at myself, but oh well. <laughs> 
Okay, guys. Thank you again. Join me tomorrow night, Tuesday night, every night, same place, same station. It'll be art journal number 12 tomorrow night. Wow, 12 already. Um, remember to post your pages so you get entered into the contest. So I think we only have a couple entries this week, so I'm giving away gelatos. Gelatos. Bye! If you don't have them, go buy them. Alter Pages has got them. Tell my sent you. Bye.